I'm on top of the world, Ma! Hey everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft! I thought I'd start the episode up here because I thought that would be an interesting view. Uh, as you can see, I have done some work on a Chateau de Chicken over there. And you can see my, you know, chicken outpost base over there. Um, so actually, why don't I show you the progress I've made now that this cloud is getting in the way of our view. Here we are, Chateau de Chicken. Come on. I swear animals get trapped in my moat so much, it's really kind of weird, honestly. Hello there. If you're not gone by the time I come back, it's grazing time. So I've made a bit of progress, as you can see. Uh, I gave this room, like, this is the only uh, room on the first floor with any actual, um, you know, chambers. The rest of this is just unpolished uh, space here. But I'll be building rooms in the future, which should be fun. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these rooms, mind you, and this is only the, the first floor here. I begin... Alright, thank you for that game. I began working on the second floor, too. Not to, um, not to actually begin it, but to just show how it would, like, how high it would be. Um, and of course there's a, uh, a guardrail here for the stairs. And we can go downstairs, actually. There's an entire basement that I dug out. This is the only real, like, completed area. Um... I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this place yet. As of now, it looks like it's just going to be storage. Uh, this place took forever to build, I swear. I had to dig out this entire area right here. Dig out the whole thing. And then I used these uh, these stone blocks as like support beams and guides to build the, uh, the wood around. Um, I also planted some trees here that never quite grew. I planted those while I was building to see if I could get any more spare wood while I was doing it. Uh, I should probably take those down soon. Um, I also got a whole wall of furnaces right here. Um, there's nothing in any of them, but... Um, that's for, like, a future project. If I ever need to, like, mass uh, smelt some huge chunk of stuff, I'll have this readily available for me. I don't think I'll ever need to use this many furnaces at once, but you never know. I also, um... Check the, look at all the dirt I got just from digging up this place. It's crazy. And that's all the sand that I smelted into glass that I'll be using for the project. That's uh, that's crazy. I swear it is. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much uh, Chateau de Chicken so far. Come here. Thank you. Is there any more down here? Nope. I guess I'll be on my way. This, uh, I have to admit, this is a very fun project, and this is only the basement, of course. And this is only the incomplete uh, first floor. There's going to be multiple floors going up. I don't know how many, at least three. So there'll be this, there'll be another thing, and then there'll be another area up there. I might even build an attic and then towers up, up there. So this place is going to be pretty darn big by the time I'm finished with it. So yeah, Chateau de Chicken. Looks like those sheep heeded my warnings. Cow's gone too. That's alright. Now then. There's a couple other things I want to show you actually. One of them is something I discovered while I was going through the fun caves. Uh, so I'll show that to you now actually. Let's get going. Or actually I'll just start here. Next to the uh, spider exhibit. I was walking down this way earlier because I was running low on coal, and I started exploring a bit, and I believe it's this way, uh, yes, oh wait, no, that's not it, it must be this way then, yes, okay, yeah, it was this way. I started going down here to collect some more coal because I remember I found some a while ago that when I was trying to find a way to get out of the fun caves for the first time when I fell down here um, and it turns out when I looked around here further it connected someplace that I didn't expect it to 
I believe it was Exo is doing. Was it this way? Mm, no, I don't. I don't recall if it was this way or not. Feels like it should be this way though. If it is, I'm gonna. If it's not, I'm going to cut to the other direction. Uh. Yes, yeah, so I believe it was about here. Um. Ooh, redstone. No! Silly. I've found so much redstone. And I think I have an idea for what I want to do with it uh, later on. Now, you can hear water in the background, right? I believe so. Well, I was wandering through here, right? And I don't believe it's this way. Or maybe I just wound up getting myself lost again. Oh gee, what fun. Um. Uh, no, that's a dead end. Okay, game, thank you for that. Let's... Oh, it was right behind me. Okay. I'm sorry I keep having to go into my menu screen. See that over there, that water? Well, as it turns out, this is something I didn't realize before, but there's a ladder right here that and if you'll believe it, this ladder actually goes straight up to the top of uh, uh, the world, not the world, but it goes up to the surface and it leads directly into Exo's secret um, basement that I built directly underneath my uh, Miracle Peak base. So suddenly I have a route here that'll go right to Miracle Peak without, having, uh, without me having to go um, up to the surface to walk there. I mean, obviously it's a longer path, but it's safer. It prevents me from getting attacked by something on the way up. So that's pretty cool. And as I said, I believe I came up with the, uh, what's something I can do for this uh, redstone that we found. So why don't I collect a bit more than meet you topside? I'm sure there's something we can do with it there. So hang on, everyone. I'll see you on the surface. And up we go. Collected a whole bunch of resources. I'll show you once we get to the top of the uh, the ladder here. It's rather incredible, to be honest. Is there anything over here? No, I guess not. All right, up we go. Back to a familiar scene. The uh, the secret lair of uh, Mr. Exo here. Let's take advantage of this of this fort here and. Uh, I'll put those back in a second, Exo. I just want to show the viewer something. Um, I found some gold and I found some uh, some iron as well, so why don't we just smelt that for a bit. Uh, and wow, while I'm here, look at all this, uh, this redstone that I picked up. It's rather incredible, to be honest. I almost went through my, uh, I have, like, this is all that remains of the, uh, the steel pick that I built during the episode, which is rather incredible, to say the least. Alright, let's put some gold in there. Found some gold, too, yes. Uh, quite. Rather impressive, really. Of course, got more stone. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this redstone. I have, a, a, like, a brief idea for a one piece, but, like, after that, I have no idea at all. So, all right, everyone. I know I've asked this many times, but now that I have this much redstone, I really want to do something interesting with it. So, give me ideas. Like, give me ideas for a really intricate build. Like, even if it takes a very long time, give me uh, suggestions because I really want to see what would happen if it, if it works. One, two, three, four, five. No. I believe there was uh, 54 redstone in there. Uh, no, 54 wooden blocks. Okay, one, two, three. There we are. Just as though it never, I was never here. Now nobody tell Lixotria, because I'm sure he's not going to see this video. Whoa, ho, ho, yes, that's right. Come on, jeez. We're back in the ruins of my old fort. I hear something burning. That must be outside. Ah, yep, so it is. 
all the trees that never quite burn to the ground. I suppose there's some kind of glitch or bug or something that if like a wooden block or something is surrounded by by four other um if it's like surrounded by other stuff then it won't completely burn. Uh so I think these are just gonna burn forever. Uh I don't know if that's cool or not, but you know what? It's something. Oh, it's trying tonight, so uh Yeah, let's risk it. Alright, out we go. Oh, I see zombies. I have enough armor, and my health is full, and I have a steel sword. Bring it on. Whoa, didn't see you there. Uh, I, oh! Oh, okay, that wasn't good. I didn't even see that creeper. Uh, oh, what the? Ah, oh, the zombie's still here. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Uh. What? What? Jeez, finally, that took a while. I decided to just off screen that fight because it really wasn't necessary to show. Show me get killed over and over before I finally got it right. So we're back home, which means we can now do the stuff that I wanted to do, finally. Um, I want to show you a few, uh, crafting, like, a few crafting, uh, recipes now that we're here. I'll show you one that involves a redstone. If you take one, uh, redstone dust and then surround it with steel, uh, bricks there, you can get a compass. And the compass is interesting because, if you'll notice, the red needle points in the direction, in one single direction all the time. It doesn't point north, it actually points uh, towards the, the spawn point, which is right over there. So as long as I keep that on hand, no matter where I am, I can always tell where uh, where the spawn point is, and by that, uh, by connection to that, I can tell where, uh, where the uh, chicken outpost is. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, is there anything else I want to show? There's got to be something else I can show. Give me just a moment here, folks. Moo. 